Hello, everybody. Welcome to Live with Lee and Haley. Haley is at a Post Malone meet and greet in oh. Corbin. God bless. He's so, safe. So, yeah, Claire oh. is here with us. And um, your mother watches the show. She does. When Via you're the on app. Mm -hmm. from uh, Texas. Is mm -hmm. that where she's? Yep, yep, yep. yep. But, but she's, she's with not my nephew now. She's with my nephews today. She had to be grandmother today, so okay. she took the day off. Although she watched yesterday just long enough, like she had... be disappointed in me for not seeing a James Bond movie. Yeah, I got she... it from all angles yesterday. Yeah. Well, you should. Well, I'm probably not. So. Mm. <laughs> well, you should. I mean, I don't know why you just don't go ahead and take the plunge and watch one. As I recommended, one of the Daniel Craig films. Right. I, I, Casino I... Royale, Skyfall. You're you're, you're you're making a good case for it. And I got interested yesterday when you said gold, when I learned Goldfinger. Or shot in Kentucky. Was shot here. Yes, at the so, Fort Knox. Yeah. So and Bluegrass surely, Airport. I'm getting more and more interested, but I can't say that I'm going to run out and do that this weekend. Okay. I'm very busy. I bet. Yeah. All right. Well, we got a big show today, Claire. Yes. Right? Yes. Very excited. We're going to learn how to make gift baskets. I'm excited about that. I have. I don't have that gene where I'm good at decorating or putting together gifts or tying bows. So I'm hoping to get some skills today. Yeah. 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 What else are we doing? And we are talking about the Bluegrass International Polo Festival, I believe. That's correct. Yes. Yeah. Look, I read ahead. <laughs> I tried. I did. So oh I yeah, I know. He was looking at me, and I'm starting to sweat a little bit. I was like, yeah. well, I pray to God this is the right show I'm supposed to be at. No, today. no, no. I, okay. I heard all about this in a meeting once. Yeah, it's, yes. it's fantastic. It, I can't it, wait. To it go. is. It's going to be good. All right. So Are lots you, to look forward. You're to. You ready to do the hot topics, Claire? Let's do it, Lee. Hot, hot topics. All right. So you've heard of maternity leave and paternity leave. So what about? Fraternity leave, okay. as in time off for employees who recently adopted a new furry friend. No. Yeah, mm -hmm. well, oh, look at that sweater he's wearing. Look it's at the that face. <laughs> I know. Oh my gosh. I'm Aww. not, you know, I'd hate to suggest maybe you should pull the sweater up a little higher. Maybe That's an so. Ugly dog. I know. Mm. Well, this is the newest perk being offered by Minneapolis digital marketing, marketing firm Nina Hale. It lets employees with new pets work from home for a week. The company says the goal is to celebrate their diverse workforce and support work-life balance. The policy does not apply for pets in cages or tanks. I got to stay with this fish. You don't understand <laughs> if this koi doesn't see me the first right. week. They yeah. can be very sensitive. You know, I'm all for that, especially if you get a puppy. Haley could attest to this. Or a kitten. They need a lot of round-the-clock supervision at first right. because otherwise mm -hmm. your house is going to be covered in, in waste. Yes. Yes. Animal waste. But yep. the big problem in America is trying to find employees, <laughs> period. And so I think is all these, it? yes, yes, it is. You talked, I talk to them every day. And the problem uh, the American employer has is finding people who will actually show up to work. Okay, well, That's show up big, to work. I don't that, think we have a lack of people who need jobs. No, there's plenty of jobs yes, available. Yes, yes. You just can't get people to come and We'll just fire those in. people and bring the others in. Well, they, they they fire themselves normally. They just don't come to work. Well, this is allowed, but this is a people who are gainfully employed who are being given a week right. off. What I'm saying is to be competitive to find the qualified people, you have to throw incentives in like oh, this. Oh, heck yeah. So, I, you know, I, eventually you're just going to have a job where, you, can we just say you work for us and we'll pay you from home? I, I would, I'd sign yeah. sign me up for that. That's where we're headed. That's why I want to slide here at but the But this studio. is one of those jobs that you could probably do from home anyway, it Marketing, looks like. yeah, and yeah, more and more. It's not a production facility. I know, we've really, we've got the, the short end of the stick. We have to show up for our job. I know. Every day. Well, update to the 25-pound cat we told you about yesterday, yes. Bruno. Who's become that internet sensation because of his hefty size? <laughs> Chicago area shelter said applications to adopt Bruno came in from all over the world. The couple who adopted Bruno sent in a song called Gimme That Fat Cat. Perfect. It was written by a member of the Second City Theater. Bruno's new family said they love him just the way he is, but they still plan to put him on a diet to keep him healthy. Yes, I love this cat. I love that belly. Ooh, oh, he, wait, that was too much. Too much rubbing. He is a cat. Yes, you, don't, you can only touch them so much. Cats are interesting. I mean, like, they, they, you have a cat. I you? do. I have a cat. But yeah. they, when they're wagging their tail, it's not a happy thing. No, they're it's, irritating. Yeah, it's anxiety. Yeah. Which, like a dog, you know. Exactly. But that's, it only provokes me. When my cat's getting irritated, the more I just want to force him to love me. Right. Yeah. I, I'm, that seems healthy. I, I hope Pete is watching because I've really made them happy a lot this week. So. <laughs> What was the other thing you did that irritated you? I talked about the, the animals on the animal cracker box being let out of their cages, well, how I thought it was stupid. Yeah, that's stupid. 
That's just stupid. I'm with you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Come on, it's animal crackers. Well, they're circus animals too. Like they don't People belong in the wild. They don't have skills. Did you see what Steve Broderson wrote? No. Our, our creative guy. Uh, I can't. No, I don't think I saw this one. He's he always something well, good. <laughs> For going down this path, he said, "I'm offended by the use of the word cracker as a white guy." Uh, well, <laughs> stop, I, stop I, using that. All right. Well, I'm not going <laughs> to wade into those waters. Now you brought me to a yeah. place where I didn't want to go. Well, I'm just saying, if we're all going to be offended about something, come I on. know. I am getting exhausted by all of this. All right, moving on. The European Law Enforcement Agency says Spanish police, oh my goodness, have shut down what they b believe to be Europe's biggest illegal turtle farm. Mm, yeah. Delicious. Uh, yeah. Selling endangered species. Oh, no, these are endangered. I'm sorry. Yeah. These are delicious. <laughs> why, why stop now, Lee? Yeah. Um, you can sell them for about $11,000 each. Europol said police seized about 1,100 turtles. That mm. has to be so smelly. 750 eggs, including specimens of 14 of the 50 most endangered species in the world. Some wow. of the species protected by law came from the United States, Canada, and Mexico. A pet shop in Barcelona specializing in exotic animals was used to smuggle the turtles out of Spain. Leave the turtles alone. I like turtles. I love them too. Do you like turtles? I love them. I always get so nervous. I don't see it so much here, but when I was in Oklahoma, there would always be a turtle slowly crossing the highway. And it's just like, oh. I've rescued them. Yeah, oh, I, 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 I've yeah. stopped and, when and helped safe. them. Yes. Yeah. They're sweet it's, things. But you always thought, well, he's probably going, I'm going the other way. <laughs> now you've taken me, it's taken me years to get here. <laughs> I've been working and for hours. But I, and Haley made fun of me one day when I was saying I got to swim with the sea turtles. Oh, like the actual big sea yeah, turtles? Yeah, down in the Caribbean. Yeah, they, that's awesome. Because they've sort of developed a habit. What where is there fishermen, to make fun of in that? Oh, she thought, I don't know. She thought, because I, I said, well, I know about sea turtles, and, and she dismissed me right away. Well, you know, Haley. Yeah, I do know. So Arrow, no one likes her. Uh, Aerosmith frontman Steven Tyler has called on President Trump to stop using the band's music at his events. Tyler, uh -oh. an attorney, sent a cease and desist letter Wednesday, one day after Trump used Aerosmith's Living on the Edge during a campaign rally. <laughs> That's a weird campaign song. Yeah. <laughs> Why are we doing campaign rallies right. anyway? Right, it is. Okay. Uh, the letter accused the president of falsely implying that Tyler endorses Trump. Not the first time Trump and Tyler have feuded over Aerosmith's music. Attorneys say two previous cease and desist letters were sent in 2015 while Trump was seeking the Republican presidential nomination. Now, why would they do it again after they've clearly already, know. you know, everything is, uh, I can't talk about this. Well, I, I don't know why if, you know, <laughs> I mean, I guess it seems like a tacit endorsement, but as just a musician, if you're wanting your music to be heard. I don't think Aerosmith n has that problem. No, I know, but I yeah. just don't know why. Okay. I, I could get it. Like if it was anything I, if it was something like I disagreed with, and I hear my song that I wrote being played, right. I'd be like, hey, no, I don't like that. Oh, don't really? You wouldn't want them to play your music? No, not if it's something I don't like. So you're like. going to go around to every venue you can find where you disagree with somebody and say, don't play my music. Okay, now you're taking it to the extreme. On a very public level, <laughs> such as the President of the United States using it, and if uh -huh. I, in that situation, disagreed with that person, I'd be like, please stop using my song, for no, sure. I'd be all right with it. Okay, well, that's where we are but, different. Well, because I think I'm, he's helping me make money. I think Aerosmith is fine on the yeah, money front. I don't know. I think it's still. They're the highest selling uh, American rock band of all time. Uh huh. So I think that they're fine. Wouldn't bother me. Okay. All right. All right. Pink stopped a concert Monday to comfort an Australian fan. 14 year old Leah Murphy attended Pink's show in Brisbane. Leah's mother was a huge Pink fan and was originally supposed to go to the show, oh. but unfortunately she passed away back in June. Mm. Leah held signs about her mother at the show. Pink saw them, so the singer immediately stopped the show and waded into the crowd to give Leah a hug. Leah's aunt says the hug has lifted Leah's spirits during a very difficult time, and the teen hasn't stopped smiling since the show. I got chills while reading that. Did she yeah. walk into the crowd, or did she fly into the crowd with her trapeze? Oh, yeah. I know. She does some she's... amazing. Amazing <laughs> acrobatics. Well, according to our script, she waded into the yeah. crowd, which that's another I visual. I like Pink. Oh, yeah, Pink's cool. She's had some surprising staying power. Mm -hmm. When she first came out, however many years ago now, I don't think anyone thought, oh, yeah, we'll still be talking about her in 15, 20 years. Mm -hmm. She's a great singer, too. Well, Kentucky native George Clooney tops Forbes magazine as the top paid actor. According to the magazine, Clooney made $239 million pre-tax dollars between last June and this June. Doing what? I know. Like, when was the last time he was in <laughs> what something? What did he do? <laughs> it's mostly from the sale of his 
Casamigos Tequila Company. Okay, well, there that's we not go. acting. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he just uh, happens to be an actor. Now, Dwayne The Rock Johnson was second behind Robert Downey Jr., who came in third. Those, Those two, two make guys, sense. Yes. yes. Uh, the Avengers movies and then every other third movie that comes it, out right, stars rock The movie. Rock. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, but George still cashing in on, on tequila. tequila. Yeah. Uh, whatever. And Starbucks paying employees to give back to their community. Oh, that's wrong. <laughs> They're paying. You have to be paid to give back to your community. Huh? The program allows workers to spend half of their work week at a local nonprofit for six months. Huh. The Starbucks Foundation covers their salaries with help from Points of Light, the nonprofit started by former President George H.W. Bush. The company started testing the program last week with 36 employees in 13 cities. Points of Light says so far more than 200 people have applied to be a part of it. That's pretty cool. They are always looking for ways to give back as they should since they charge you an arm and a leg for right. their cups of coffee right. and they're That's always right. raising the prices yeah. but uh I always wondered, yeah. wouldn't it be interesting if you could bring somebody from just time travel from the 1950s <laughs> like, look and at take this. them to a Starbucks and say, get ready to pay for this. Look how dumb we are now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's what? Because yeah. you know, it's like a quarter. Yeah. Like a cup of coffee costs you a quarter. Right. Well, yeah. Back then it was just more like mix your grounds and some hot right. water and stir. That, still, that's what built a nation. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, a Harvard professor recently called coconut oil pure poison for its <laughs> saturated fat content and threat to cardiovascular health. During a lecture at Germany University, professor said health claims surrounding coconut oil are absolute nonsense. Coconut oil increases your LDL cholesterol, commonly known as the bad cholesterol, because it's associated with incre increased risk of heart disease. Coconut oil also raises HDL, the good cholesterol. Hmm. Many health experts would agree coconut oil is fine occasionally, day-to-day -day use. So, experts recommend cooking with vegetable oils like olive, canola, or soybean oil instead. Yeah, so I heard a nutritionist talking about that this morning. And I think calling it poison Come on. is a little extreme. They said it's in the same category as like lard and butter. So, of course, you Which are delicious. Right, they make food so good. And so, they're just like, use it in moderation like you would those things. That's but on the daily basis, right. use, you know, olive oil. Just moderate. I know. And put it Everything. on your skin anytime because it does make yeah. you feel nice and good. And smell good Some too. Some guy always trying to get attention. I know. So, poison. We're all dead today because of coconut oil. And here oil. we are talking about it halfway across the world. Yeah. Mm. All right. <laughs> Those are the hot topics. That's right. But now we've got day four of our all star comedy tour giveaway. Yeah, this is the next to last chance for you to win free tickets because it's going to hit the Pioneer Playhouse stage for two nights only. That's me, my <laughs> buddy Scott Wilson, and our two top finalists from the contest. So we got tickets to give away to the August 25th show. There's two shows, but these tickets are for Saturday. You send a message with your name and phone number to our Live with Lee and Haley Facebook page or email us at lwlh at lex18.com for a chance to win. Good luck. Awesome. All right. Coming um, up next, we're going to talk about an annual event that benefits two fake county organizations. That's right, the Bluegrass International Cup. We're going to see how much you and I know 